Remember, I had the Burger King. Yeah, the Burger King costume. It was the creepiest thing ever. <laughs> of all the scary costumes in the world, the Burger Dude, King. Dude, that was like, that was like eighty or ninety bucks. Because it was like a it it was a weird like vinyly plastic mask that was always pointed and. He looked like a pedophile of hamburgers. Yeah, he looked creepy, but I could tuck my beard up in there, and no one knew it was me. You know what I mean? Then you just walk in, hunch over. But he was completely creepy. It was, terrible. It was the creepiest thing I've ever seen. It's and and that's what made it funny to me. You know what? What are you gonna do? People are gonna sit there and go, "Should we call the police or should we get this guy a beer?" Young drunk. Here we are, back again, setting the record straight. Sitting here in Young Junk Studios, we're all prepared. Tell them, tell them how, just tell them how prepared we are. Seriously. So prepared. What are we talking about? To wing it. Wings? Well, I was said to wing it. All right. Okay, go for it. Best wings on Main Street. So that's called dead air. I'm just teasing you. I'm just saying, I know that was off guard, but I was thinking about this earlier. And, uh, and here we go, and right, you know, no intro. I was thinking about that earlier. I, a couple times recently, I've gotten Ryan's wings. Mm-hmm. And I've liked them. Um, I, you know, I, I don't want to say average wings, but I like them. You know, their wings are not too big, not too small. You know, I have an aversion about wings sometimes that they're cooked. I know Cactus does an amazing or buy you one of the 50 cent wings during the week. Have you tried them? I have not. I no? have no Ryan's wings. Okay. You like them? Yeah. They're, they're bar food wings. Any wings that you've had elsewhere up the street? I don't think so. Let's start at the top. So Lucky's doesn't have wings. They have great burgers. Tots. Tots. Tater tots. Yeah. yeah. We've, we, as we've talked about them before. Uh, Winnie's not wings. Somo Blondie, we, I haven't tried. Yeah, I haven't really tried a lot of wings. We do wings. Um, we do a lot of different Mexican versions of it, obviously. But I was thinking about that earlier today. I was going to ask you, where do you like to get wings from? So, yeah, okay, yesterday we had a, oh, we didn't get wings. Get wings. We had a holiday, we had our Halloween decoration party. And we got from Marathon Pizza? Yeah. What did we get? Like just pizzas, hoagies, and Couple salads? pizzas, Italian hoagie, turkey hoagie, some salads. Oh, I know whose wings I like. Leangelo's. It's been a, it's been a minute, but I, I know that when they first came there, I was digging their wings. Yeah. And I'm not the, the biggest wing guy. I'm kind of a uh, currently turned on to Chicky and Pete's dry rub wings. Oh, yeah. They go so good with about two and a half beers, a thing of blue cheese, uh, or, or Wheatley Vodka. I mean, it doesn't have to be beers. How you doing, Wheatley Vodka? First shout out of the day. Um, so that's cool. I, you said wing, we're going to wing it. And I just went off on that a little bit. So cool. Here we are. Uh, I don't know what episode it is. It's just the next one and we're doing what we do. And I'm so happy that this episode you have, I can look at your shoulders and I can just see a little bit of stress lifted off. And then I look at your head. I see a little bit of nervousness piled on. So what's going on? Um, waiting for my board results. Took them Friday, huh? Yep. Making you wait till Thursday. Is that it? Yep. What are you going to (laughs) do? Pray that I pass. That's really all I got right now. And Wheatley Vodka. I mean, that could help you. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that'll get me through until then. (laughs) Or just work every hour until the results come in. I think you are. I I literally think you're working so much in the next week. It's not funny. But that's cool. That's one of the things that's going on. And I know it's a big thing to you. But the biggest thing that's going on in this city right now, and it ain't the Eagles or Jalen Hurts' mopey attitude, it's the fightings. It's red October. You got your red shirt on. We are in the thick of the playoffs. As we record this episode, it is one-to-one with the uh, New York Mets who, if you're watching this and you like the New York Mets, please just stop watching because I, I don't want your views. I just don't. I hate the Mets. 
hate, hate, hate the Mets. So you worked game one Saturday. I did. And you've worked multiple playoffs in the last couple of years. I've worked almost all of them. World Series is even. Um, yeah. Where they've come in and you've had to pour shots. We did some nights where... I think it was 1,800, was giving away shots for every home run. Home run shots, when you have an entire bar chanting in your face, home run shots. Didn't they hit five that game? It was something like that. Yeah. I probably, yeah. So let's let, let's fast forward to this year. It's the Phils, man. Uh, they've sucked since the All-Star break. Um, you know, you feel the vibe in any bar. We're not a sports bar. There are no sports bars in the Yunk. Uh, but we love to push the fills. You know, we do crazy dollar beers, uh, all specials, uh, tequila shots to start some games, tequila shots for some home runs, this and that. But there's no true sports, sports, sports bars. But so Saturday, you were telling me this, and I could feel it. Um, Phillies play. They came on at, I believe, 408. Wheeler pitched. Great. Uh, 100. He was in the teens of his pitches. And then, because it's 2024 and there's no real men left in baseball to pitch nine innings, uh, analytics takes over and they screw it up and we get destroyed. How did that feel? Not as a fan, not as a fan. You were the bartender while that happened, right? Mm-hmm. And th- weren't they in there giving out free shots early on? Yep. So to get everyone vibing and everything. Yeah, I mean... You just feel the whole bar deflate. There's a lot of yelling for the entirety of the game. Everyone's in a good mood. Again, we were up. Everyone kind of thought we had it. Yeah. And then and then it took a turn. And then there's a lot more yelling. And it's less nice. It's less happy. Do people... It's safer for me to stay behind the bar and not try and go out into the crowd of the people. <laughs> I ain't going out of that crowd. I ain't going out of the crowd of losers. Yo, do people leave quicker oh yeah on a loss oh yeah so and literally it, it affects done, our industry and and how our employees make money so we can blame the phillies and sue them possibly i'm just kidding there something like that yeah that won't happen but you know i, I and i and I, I felt it i've i felt the highs and lows of both of these things we got here the sixers Years and years ago, the four bounce from Kawhi Leonard against Toronto in Game 7 that finally went in. You felt, you would have thought somebody put a pinhole in every bottle in La Roca and everything was just leaking out. You were just like, oh, this, this is what it's like to physically be sick from a sports team in Philly. And that's what Philly sports teams will do to you, though. Yeah, man. That, you know, so Schwarber, game one, mm-hmm. I think you were in the kitchen probably when he hit that home run. Yeah, because it was so early in. I'm home. Uh, I was home uh, alone. Well, the dog. And, you know, I'm yelling, screaming. Of course, he goes running and think I'm yelling at him. I'm like, let me go get him some CBD. Shout out to Pet Friendly Dog Bakery. Stephanie, we love you. Um, but just imagine... Philly's up like that game one. We've been waiting all year since, you know, uh, the season started April to get to now. Swore bomb in his first at bat, bottom of the first. Next thing you effing know, it's Wheeler's out of the game, and you and you just know that you don't have a chance. But you're, like, probably going, you know, now I'm behind the bar. I got to let people know we got this. Can you even see shit like that when that happens? Or do you just see the, your customers? I see it. I can read it on everyone's face. I can't normally see the TV. So you don't know what's happening, but you're just reading the room going, oh, oh this is about to get ugly. Whole night's about to go downhill. And we had such a cool day on Saturday. Uh, we had Penn State early. We, we were official Penn State football bar. Um, then we had 408 was the Phillies. And then 6 o'clock was WWE, Bad Blood. Uh, So we had like a a real entertaining time on our TVs and for people who just wanted to get lost in their everyday life. Um, And then you throw that horrible, 
horrible relief performance from the pitchers, and you lose game one. So we come to yesterday, Sunday again, as we film, and we're doing the Halloween decorating. Hmm. Game yesterday, I think same time. Was it four or five? Yeah. No Eagles. Eagles were on a bye. So Jalen Hurts couldn't wind anybody, and he couldn't make anybody sad with his mopiness. Uh, And Sirianni couldn't, you know, get anybody confused with his, hey, let's play darts, and that's how we'll decide who's going to be the uh, starting defensive lineman. That'll be a good time. You know, I mean, uh, Philadelphia sports is just kind of screwed up. I'm excited about the Flyers. Sixers are starting, but we get to game two. Man, two to nothing already. Uh, and you weren't there. You weren't at the bar when it started. And we're at home, obviously. And I'm dropping a couple of bombs. Words that we can't say here on Wheatley Produced this podcast. That's, that's bull. Uh, and then we get to the bar while the game's still on. And you can just feel it. <laughs> you just feel like... The blood racing through you. You're here in the game. Um, you know, we, we, we're trying to come back. But it's an event we're watching, and we just lost so bad yesterday. Harper hits a home run. And all of a sudden, stadium is back in it. There's hope. The restaurant was back in it. The bar was back in it. Everyone that was there was like, oh, now we only need one. Then Big Dick Nick comes up and does his thing. And now we're tied, and you're just so fired up. But Philly sports, which is what we're talking about right now, is kind of fickle. I go outside to talk to our friend, Stephen King, great author. Uh, I come back in within eight to ten minutes, and it's six to four Mets again. And you weren't bartending again, but now you're in there just as a customer and getting ready as a boss, as the manager, knowing they were going to decorate. Imagine being in a sports bar and that's happening. I've heard from some of our friends in context, people rolled out when it went 6-4. That a lot of people bailed at 6-4. Like we came back, Harper, Castellanos, and then we give up two runs right away. But, you know, and, and people go, oh, I love my Philly sports. And here we are talking about, we're not talking about La Roca specifically, talking about all the great restaurants and the bars on Main Street that all of a sudden lose business just because the team shits the bed. And, you know, the servers make less, bartenders make less. Anybody who's tipped out makes a little bit right. less. But I don't know. Uh, tomorrow we have game three. You're bartending. I am. Yeah, you're bartending. <laughs> What uh, are we doing? Anything that you know of, specials wise? Dollar Coors Lights during the game, as mm. always. That's kind of cool. And tomorrow's Tuesday. And so Taco Tuesday. Oh, boom! Taco Tuesday. So two dollar uh, tequila, tecate. It's Taco Tuesday. Um, we have Joe. He won't be there tomorrow, but you saw his TV spot live. I did. Channel Seventeen. I did. Friday morning. National Taco Day. Doesn't know the difference between a taco and a margarita. She says to him, I'm cooking tacos. She says to him, Joe, what's your favorite taco? Peach basil. Like the one I'm about to make as he grabs tequila. And and I just yell live TV. Joe, that's not that that's not a taco. Was that out loud? <laughs> I say that. The, the, the chick, Jenna Meisner, that's her name. She laughs. And Joe has now been renamed Basil. Basil boy. Yeah, he's on the schedule as Basil. Uh, when you are asked on live TV with a lot of viewers on National Taco Day, what is your favorite taco? And you say peach basil margarita? Your name is now Basil. I don't even think he said margarita. I just think he said. He's really lucky his name just isn't Peaches at this point. So I floated that. <laughs> I think he started writing a resignation letter like, oh, shit. I don't be known as Peaches the rest of my life. You know, but that was pretty funny because then she says something and he goes, yeah, apparently I've already had uh, too many of the Peach Basil margaritas outside. 
which it was 7.15 in the morning, and I would have loved to have had a peach basil margarita <laughs> at 7.15 because he also worked the ladies' night. night. Yeah, he worked ladies' night. He didn't get out until... No, oh, we were packed. Yeah. Packed for ladies' night, Thursday night to 1 o'clock. Probably didn't get out till 2. Um, and then had to be at TV at 7.15. He was on time. And and he was moving a lot better than he's moving today after the Halloween party last night. <laughs> he says it's not a hangover, but it's it's a hangover. It's a hangover if I've ever seen one. He goes in. He moves tables. I go, Joe, are you going to set up the chairs outside? I go, no, Joe, the ones in front of you, you move the tables, but there's no chairs. They're all stacked on each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Maybe I should do that. So... This is a kid that we could start calling chairs. Like every time he does something, we can just start changing his name. And and he ha- he has his moments. He he has quite a few of his moments. He's Delco, another Delco kid. It's a good kid. You know, well, Strathaven. Oh, Strath. Delco. That's not so good. How many people do you think see this podcast went to Strathaven? I'm going to say on one hand, you. <laughs> nice. You're the only hey, we hit double digits. We hit, I think, 13 views. Um, we had a party, we popped, we popped some champagne, but we hit 13 views. Terry called us up, said, Congratulations, you guys hit double digits. But then he goes, Well, that was all your podcasts combined. Like, and it's not 12, it's 13. I go, oh, Really? Oh, thanks a lot, bro. You know, what are you gonna do? Just trying to keep keep you ready to go, keep you hyped up. <laughs> Our podcast, that's like the Jerry Seinfeld show. They they it's about nothing. It's about about the world. Halloween, like we were talking about Halloween just a minute ago, and I love to ask you this. And I didn't want to ask you anything earlier. I want to spoil it to myself. I asked you one question: Had you been out with our whole family? We have you know we have a big family. Um, we hadn't been out with everybody, but what are some of the cool? Things that you remember that you went out as. I love Halloween. I love dressing up. And see, I I don't love Halloween. I know. I'm not a holiday. You're person. weird. I've never have been. You're a doctor. You're weird. Not a hop. Not a holiday person. I enjoy decorating the restaurant. I enjoy that side yeah. of it, but it's not not my thing. Never been. I think I was probably a princess for like four years oh, growing up. Been a because princess your whole life, of honey. Course. Of course. That's a lie. Just go. Just, just, you know. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I, just because I think that was like, what's expected? Yeah. You're that's kind of lame. Four, five, six. Just be a yeah, princess. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Your nieces were like Ariel. What was that movie for so long that was so popular? Little Mermaid. Little- I heard, was it the Little Mermaid? Is that Ariel? A- Ariel is the Little Mermaid. Well, there was another one. Elsa. Elsa. For God. Different, very different generations. Who did? Okay. Little Mermaid. Uh, well, it was Halloween. Before my time. Yeah, but they wanted to go as Halloween, and I bought one of them a dress that that completely completely infuriated your sister. I think it was Jessica. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, and it lit up because it was just and so loud. Sang. And it sang. And it's the greatest gift because any parent can give to their child. That is the It's old. called payback. Yeah. Sending your kid home with something that annoys the F out of you. After all the years that you did to me growing up in my house. I whatever. The heels sang Let It Go as she walked. <laughs> the matching heels sang Let It and Go. Of course, I'd always sugar them up with some candy as well. Oh. It's Halloween. What, what are we doing for Halloween? I know uh, last year was so cool. I, I remember um, one of the people that stood out to me last year that came in was Ben Felicia from the PRLA, Pennsylvania Restaurant and Lodging Association. Because Maniunk, some of us can sign up for it. I don't remember if I've seen it yet this year. For free trick or treating. For the trick or treating. I don't know if I've seen that to be honest, but I, I love that. For it last year. No, you, I was in Florida. They were lined up past uh, past uh, Summers um, Hair Salon down on Main Street, just to get in with their kids. You know, you give them four or five candies, and you know, it's just a little line. But that was so cool, and I love that about the Yunk that they were doing that. And now, come to think of it, I haven't thought about it. Right. You know, uh, are we? So we're going to be doing a thing where we're all going to be dressing up at work. 
You you have dressed up at work before. I, I have the proof. What, once again, I wear the same thing every year. Is that right? It, no thought at this point. Just Wait, put it on a and skeleton go. Thing? Yes. <laughs> I've been wearing it since probably 2020. It'll make its fourth year this year, too. I remember one party we had. There might have been some alcohol flowing. I'm out on the deck in the in the v, in the blue VIP section with all the couches and the TVs, and I'm not noticing anything. And all of a sudden, a bunch of you come walking out of the dining room, outside on the deck, dressed up. We had Fireball, we had White Claw, we had hot tamales, we had tacos, burritos. Did we do any two people costume that night? Uh, chips and guac or chips and I think the chips and guac and chips and salsa and I will say I did not wear a costume that night I just told everyone they better put a costume on and go outside and then I probably you need enjoyment in your life Dr. Caitlin probably that was that was my enjoyment I sent all of the children outside of their costumes to you while I stayed inside in the silence so how do you that was joy so how do you know you don't want to stay in the restaurant business why do you want to be a doctor so what if you wasted all that money (laughs) thanks (laughs) <laughs> Thanks. No, how do you know? Because straight up, you're really good at this, and I'm not being serious. How do you know what's going to be the point when you're going to be like, yeah, no, I got the job that I want. Like, are you going to be that picky? And are they going to enjoy Halloween like we do? I doubt it. Probably not. No, because you're <laughs> they're going to be patients. They're going to have issues. We have issues, but we're not patients, and we have access to alcohol. Nice. We win. Nice. I mean, I enjoyed Halloween when I was teaching. That was always fun working with people. Yeah, yeah. Doing the trunk or treat. It's different. Yeah, it's, but you shouldn't have been drinking like you were while you were teaching. Well, you know, the slurring the words, trying to be like, you know, an occupational therapist. Oh, let me pretend I'm slurring my words like some of you possible patients when it was really neutrals. Just kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I've never drank on the job. Let me just put that on the record now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Halloween. Let's get back to Halloween. You drank on the job. Last night, we had a Halloween decorating party. But I wasn't working. You're still the boss. Everyone still knows. In the building, they leave me alone. And they That's come to you. Nice. Dude, I worked hard to throw you under the bus that many times. Yes, yeah, must be nice. Do you, do you understand... To hit those tires perfectly, you know, when I throw you there, it matters. Yeah. Because that way it's consistent. though. So you don't have tire marks all over you, and our staff just knows. Oh, I have a very important question. There's Steven and Caitlin. Let me just go ask the obvious person. Let's go ask Caitlin as she's in the middle of doing probably 17 other things. At least. Could, could this question wait? Well, yeah, but I thought I would ask now. Why? Well, Okay. You got to be different this Halloween. We're staying on this Halloween gimmick. You be the boss. You got to wear something other than a skeleton. I mean, come on now. No. It works. I'm going to put hot sauce in that skeleton outfit. Halloween, I think, is a Thursday this year. I don't always work Thursday nights. I don't think I have to dress up. It's Saturday night before we're going to have a big party. Actually, we're going to have a big party on that Thursday. It'll be the skeleton then. Yeah, well, yeah, we're doing a skeleton. We're doing a Halloween Friday. ladies night. We're going to see if some of these people can come scarier than they do when they show up at 1030 and they're just ready. You know, I just need an hour and a half out of my job. I just <laughs> I need some ladies night in the rook. I need some loud music. I need to dance. I need to get on, on the deck where everyone else is blah, 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 blah. But they're going to be dressed up. It, you're, I'm going to throw you under the bus again. I just am. I will not work. Dude. I will not work Thursday. I know your boss. Of Halloween. You'll work because your boss says so. It's Thursday. It's ladies night. You always work on, on ladies night. You literally took your boards Friday morning or Friday. I do not always work ladies night. I'm not working ladies night this week. You don't know that. I'm not working ladies night this week. You don't know that. I work during the day that day. It's you not. Know what can change? You ever, oh, you know who I love? David Bowie. Great song. Cha 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 changes. Sorry, I can't sing, but you know, changes happen. Mm. I <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, you do. So I am looking forward to Halloween. 
I really am. I like dressing up where people don't know it's me. When I had the really long beard, I would, you know, tie it all up and put it up in the mask. I, you know, I might have a couple tattoos, so I have to wear something with some sleeves. Uh, I love that. And, and then if I can just go in and sit in the bar for half an hour, 45 minutes, drinking a Coors Light instead of a Miller Light, so they don't go, oh, I think that's Steven. You know, you got to take jewelry off or put gloves on or whatever. Yeah, I love it. Burger King. Remember I had the Burger King? Yeah, the Burger King costume. It was the creepiest thing ever. <laughs> of all the scary costumes in the world, the Burger Dude, King. Dude, that was that was like 80 or 90 bucks. Because it was like a, it, it was a weird, like, vinyl-y plastic mask that was always pointed. and He looked like a pedophile of hamburgers. Yeah, he looked creepy. But I could tuck my beard up in there and no one knew it was me. You know what I mean? Then you just walk in, hunch over. But he was completely creepy. Was it was the creepiest thing I've ever seen. And and that's what made it funny to me. Like, you know, what, what are you going to do? People are going to sit there and go, should we call the police or should we get this guy a beer? You know, and, I'll, and I'm willing to take my chances with, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. Uh, so you don't like to dress up, but let's talk about your dog. Well, the dog has to dress up. Oh, he doesn't really? have a choice. And he, looks, some of his he, look, he looks cute when he's dressed up. Well, he doesn't really get options. He wears them all in the span of like the week following. What are some of them? I don't know what he's been. Batman. He's been Superman. Bat dog. He was a rock star that had like a weird guitar attached to it. I love, he love the it. shark. No, the shark was Rascal's. Was and the shark before him? Rascal loved that shark, and he would bite me when I would try to take it off of him. You think people are going to dress up their dogs? I, I haven't noticed. Do they do that in Maniunk? Because we're the treat place at the other end of the street. I'm, I'm sure the dogs will be dressed up. I'm sure some will. Low I'm, key. Sh- I'm sure the dogs will be dressed up. I love that. But, you know, the little ones, it's so easy. It's the bigger ones. <laughs> Just get them into the costume, even. Because even the XL dog costumes don't fit. I mean, they, they don't fit Balor. Let's be clear. So he hates a- that elf costume, but he uh, he's going to wear it at Christmas. <laughs> You're going to hear the jingle bells it's from a, a mile a away. Thursday, it's a th- Halloween's a Thursday. We're at, what are we at right now? What's the day? The 7th? 7th. So we're still 24 days away. World Series. When is the World Series? There's no way they're going to let him go in November, I hope. I think they will. I think they did a year or so ago. Because I remember we had a, there was a game on when we were having a party. Yeah. And, and I just said to people, come dressed up as your favorite Philly. Get a Phillies jersey. Put some black under your eye. It counts. You're not going to win the contests. But, it, you know. It's a costume. Yeah. Who cares about that. Oh, what? Summer. I don't remember seeing any dogs dressed up, though. And I've worked for Halloween. A couple of years ago, we had a wedding and we came late. So we weren't here during that day. Right. Um, last year, I don't remember any dogs. I know that I, we've bought in face painters and, and they're amazing. They do the whole sugar skull mask mm-hmm. uh, for our staff. Um, and just, just it, it just looks so cool like that to see them do something. And... Uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. I am. I'm excited for it. I But I think Halloween is one of those. It just kind of it gets passed over. Like we were saying, like people, if you go into a store right now, you can probably buy Christmas decorations. What's your favorite holiday? Honestly. I don't know that I have one. Mine's Halloween. Halloween. Uh, yeah. The band always played. So I was always having a good time with people. Um, just, just enjoyed it. And with, when you guys were kids, loved going out, loved walking is, uh, loved dressing up right along with it before you were born. Um, it was really popular back in the day. It was the, uh, California raisins and I, I was single. It was just me and your sisters and your brother. And we went out as the California raisins. And if there had been internet back then, I think we would have went viral. Because, like, all the neighbors are like, oh, that's the cutest thing. Can we take a picture of you guys and this and that? But now you see some of these costumes, people put no effort into it. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm not mad at that. But, I, you know, I and I cheat. I now buy a costume. 
I don't do the makeup because I still look the way I look. <laughs> it's too much work to do the makeup or find and make a costume. I like handing out candy. I like seeing all the kids dressed up. I like that, but it's kind of kind of it for me. Yeah, uh, it's it's my favorite holiday though. It literally is. Like I love I love Christmas obviously because it's it just lasts long. The vibe supposedly lasts so long. Um, Fourth of July. I mean, I'm a I'm military Memorial Day, Labor Day. None of those jump out at me, right? You know, uh, proud. Uh, New Year's Eve. That was always like an amateur drinking night. You know, please keep coming New Year's Eve parties to La Roca. Uh, but that was always like an amateur drinking night. The night before Thanksgiving was always like a. In Maniunk, it's not a big of a yeah, thing. That's something much bigger at home it's than it is here. Yeah. Yeah. That that going Our out. Lots the are before. overflown, or overflowed, and here. <laughs> do you remember our la last year, the night before Thanksgiving, what you and I were doing? We were at the I, downstairs bar, yeah, and we were laughing. We're going, okay, those kids are going to go to blah blah blah. We wouldn't name the place. Let's see how long it takes before they're coming back, before walking down the street back, they before got they denied. got carded and told no. And we had it down to a science. We knew, oh, those kids, oh, they're okay. Those ones, eh, 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 yeah. they'll be back in a minute. Happen. You know, yeah. <laughs> I, but I think that's also the difference between, it was interesting to see kids out last year, but at, like, at home in Delco, it's a lot of those kids are going home and like coming home to Delco. And so I think the night before Thanksgiving is I haven't seen my friends from high school. So let's all go out while we're home for a holiday versus here. All those college kids went home. Love that. Love that. A little different here. You're exactly right. You're on to something. I kind of feel in Delco, and this isn't a show about Delco, from the night before Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm sorry. From Halloween to the night before Thanksgiving is one big, long, hey, we just had Halloween. It, like like it, it's just a big yeah. party like bands always play djs are always getting work the clubs although there's not as many clubs around anymore we're always doing great business on those nights as clubs um yeah that whole in delco man i don't feel that nothing wrong with that i don't feel that uh the town because the age range is you know behind us off main street is is growing a little bit which is great me, you know, but let these people settle in, be homeowners, be, you know, good customers for every business, hopefully on the street and in the, you know, in the young call all around. But I, I don't feel that they have that, uh, I don't want to say party mood because it's not just about the party mood. I just feel, oh my gosh, people knew the holidays are kicking in at Thanksgiving because now you got the night before uh, Halloween because you got the night before Thanksgiving. Oh my God, and then tomorrow's Thanksgiving, then you got Black Friday. Well, now we're a month away from Christmas. Okay. You know, one continues. It just, holiday yeah, it just continues. I could see that. I could see that. I do think some of it boils down to like, that idea of like traveling home. And again, like I think for, and for me, I know from experience, like being at home and friends who I hadn't seen since high school, everyone's coming home from college or coming home to see their family. Cause they stayed wherever they went to college the night before Thanksgiving is like, well, I'm spending Thanksgiving and black Friday and that Saturday with my family. So the night before Thanksgiving is when you go out with your and friends. You don't have people that grew up in the yunk, so to speak, that are still here. Like, you know, right. maybe I'm going to college. I mean, you know, young, the young crowd, the twenties, the thirties, uh, that, that grew up here and stayed here. Right. Um, whereas places like Delco, Montgomery County, you know, Bucks, you get people that have lived there for forever. And then they just move from one town to the other within the County. Right. You know, so it's they still, generation. yeah. So they still experience, all of that, that, that it just doesn't happen here. And then the weird thing is, back, back to Manny, back to sports. You know, again, we hope the Phillies are, are still playing, but Eagles. So now you're talking the heart of the schedule. As we film, Eagles were in a bye week yesterday. It's always tough to get that out of the road, especially when you have a horrible loss the week before. 
Me personally, I can't watch ESPN as much as I can. Right. I'm sure a lot of people do that. But in Delco, that affects the mood of people. In Maniunk, it doesn't. It it doesn't. It's just weird. They, they, like, not that they don't notice how bad Jalen Hurts is, but they don't talk about it, right. like like we do. Like we Del, not that we do because we're we're Yunkers as well. But they obsess in Delco. Like they're gonna watch and they're post on Facebook as they go. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Then they got to go to the bathroom and be like, oh, good. Update. We'll get a break. And then they're posted from the bathroom. Like, hell. Uh, they take it so much more as a combined thing. And Maniac's not. Again, no, not, no football. No football yesterday. We had, business-wise, we didn't have a big, big football crowd. Uh, we, we, you know, it, was, it was okay business-wise. But they weren't there. They're not to watch for the, Eagles, for the red zone or to see what game was. I forget what the early games were on. I don't even know what they were because I can't. I'm still having trouble since the Eagles game. Um, I think the thing with like come like Eagle season, the real fans were so close to South Philly. Yeah. Everyone goes to Xfinity. Sure. Because if you're going to win, you're all going to party together. And if you're going to lose, you're all going to get really drunk and really sad together. Yeah. And why not have a collective sad moment in the middle of a giant bar? True story. Terry Leahy, young junk right now. We, we met, uh, November of 2019. He comes in with his cousin, a couple friends, and we just start chit chat. I, I meet him. Yada, yada, yada. We exchange a couple numbers. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. The next week, because now I'm trying to build a business in, in the Roca, uh, I'm at the point where I'm texting some of the new people that I've met. Say, hey, why don't you come on out? Because, you know, November, it's not a football town. And I remember, swear to God, I don't know what jersey it was. It was one of the green jerseys. Terry's walking down the street, and he walks by me. I think it was might have been with his cousin again, maybe two other friends heading to Mad River, heading to Mad River. And I forget what Mad River specials had back then. Um, and again, I don't blame anybody for going anywhere. Uh, but I remember going out the door. Hey, brother, blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking, man, I have more TVs than anyone on Main Street. I have more TVs than anyone in Maniunk. And here's this guy who knows Manny Unk, and I can't get him to come back to watch that game. And he told me later on, as we became friends, yeah, we went down there. They were running cheap specials, which we ultimately did. And I think they had like dollar dogs, dollar fifty hot dogs, some right. you know, some something there where I would want to go. Right. Like that's where I would go. Sports. But Terry taught me about that. Literally, where we are right now, Terry Leahy taught he was one of the first people that taught me that Philadelphia and then home games, I don't want to say that we're dead, because I, I never would say that we're dead. Right. What I mean is we're just a lot slower mm-hmm. than we are for away games. A lot, like what a what a massive difference. And again, this is all going through the ho- you know the Halloween season. People getting ready, this and that. But you're well, and with home games, you have the tailgaters. Even if they're not going in, they're going to go down and they're going to tailgate. And then what happens? What's well, right there where they go to drink at while the game's played? Right, back up one second. Phillies game yesterday. Nick Vona, did he tailgate? Yeah. Did they tailgate at the oh, yeah. Phillies? Yes. He's okay. Had, yeah, they tailgated and then went to the game because I think he said he started at like noon. I, I do remember hearing him. So, yeah, you tailgate and back. then. Yeah, but so Maniac, again, isn't the type that is going to take up a parking spot. I, and I'm, I don't mean that bad with anybody. It's just not that collective sports vibe. Aston Delco, Okay. I'm sure there's a couple bars in there that just Ridley, PJ Dolan's okay, great bar, great people. And the Eagles go there all the time. WIP was just there a couple of weeks ago. People flock to go to that game. Tom and Jerry's used to be a flocking place, and it still does very well. And again, you know, I already discussed it, but here we are back in in our town of Maniunk. Cuddy's does well sometimes. Because they'll put up the big inflatable TV. 
Right. That's a cool spectacle. I dig that. We don't have room. But Pitchers, Pitchers Pub, who's the only true, like, bar. I mean, Ryan's is an Irish pub. I see them when I'm not belittling pitchers. I just see Ryan's as an Irish pub. Right. Food till whatever, 10 p.m. Pitchers, uh, yesterday, it wasn't, I mean, we went by and it wasn't, you know, again, there was no Eagles. Phillies were on. But you sold the fells, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we always go by and we look at every place as we go down. But that's the place where I go, oh, on a game day. So now you got the Eagles as we're talking about. And playing through the Halloween season, off yesterday, playing like crap. Um, the quarterback doesn't really acknowledge the coach. The coach is trying to do his job. I would say he's doing a good one. But with him, that's who I want to dress up for Halloween. I want to dress up Jalen Hurts as a fucking ghost. Pardon my French, Wheatley. Because he's disappeared. He's completely disappeared. The kid that took us to the Super Bowl a couple of years ago... That kid's disappeared. Where is he? Where is, I know when to get rid of the ball, you know, and now Philly's turning on it. And we're in a the business. There's some people, we have, we have some uh, interns here today. And they probably also understand feeling the difference when you have a bad team. And I don't want to say that they're a bad team. A- annoying team. They're not exciting. They're inconsistent. They're, they're not exciting. There's no excitement. Yeah, they're inconsistent and they're pretty just blah. The, none and, of and so, so it affects budget. everyone on the street in the business because people just, you know, indifferent to going out. Now, Phillies, you're in the playoffs. You're playing the New York Mets for the first time ever. People want to get out. They want to see that. This weekend was great and that right. was awesome. You know, the crowds. But the Eagles... Uh, I'm trying to think who we're even playing this week. Um, but you know, losing to Tampa Bay, who we lost to in the playoffs, and then having a week off, man, that upsets the town. So put them in some Halloween costumes. What would you dress up Nick Sirianni as? <gasps> Let's see. Well, I got it. A punching bag for his quarterback. He doesn't come out and trash him. Jalen doesn't come out and rip him. He doesn't endorse him like you should a coach. I don't care if you're not on the same page. If you and a server are not on the same page, you always act like you are. Mm-hmm. If anybody in our businesses are not on the same page, you never let them see a sweat. An old adage that uh, I believe to this day, you never let them see a sweat. Put up the United front and go. Dude, they're crap in the bed. You know, Dallas looked like crap last night. Washington looks so good. Uh, Giants are the Giants. Danny Dimes blows. So uh, Eagles need to get their stuff together. The whole team, I would dress up as a school of fish. They're just swimming along. There's no, there's no shark leading them or chasing them like Fletcher Cox. Like Jason Kelsey. Yeah, they don't have their veterans who... You got, Bra- you, you got BG. Yeah, but... There's a difference in a united front of veterans and then just one or two who has to try and herd herd kittens, essentially, and versus you have a united front of those veterans that say, no, this is what we're going to do and push them into that direction. And hurts through Kelsey under the bus, saying that he stunted his learning. I'm sorry. Who is the most popular sports figure in Philadelphia the last since he, since the parade, since he put on the Mummers costume? There's not a more popular athlete. Bryce has come close at times. He's hit some big, big shots. Except- Schwarber hasn't gotten that close, mm-hmm. but Schwarber's up there. Hertz was playing great, but Jason Kelsey, you know, Kelsey. and he was a, and he was he was such a shark. He could swim behind those fish without re- making them feel intimidated, supposedly, and push them the way that they needed to. But now Jalen Hurts is complaining, oh, you stunted my growth. Well, maybe that shark should have ate your dumb ass. Seriously. But you take those opportunities and you learn from them. It's not a competition within the team. Yo, if there's competition within the team, you're not going to win the overall competition. For real. Wheelie Vodka, who's, who's sponsoring us, and again, I'm just reaching with this. So Monday nights, if 
we do our thing on Monday nights. We do the Monday night mules. Mm-hmm. $2 fireball, $3 uh, Wheatley shots, $5 mules, all kinds of other specials. But Wheatley will feel the crunch if our Monday night, if no one cares about Monday night football. Because, yeah, we bring them in for wrestling and our great specials and our staff. But if Monday night football sucks and the Eagles are a part of that, everyone's going to fall off. Right. Yeah. I, I, I'm not feeling the, the, I'm, I'm, Phillies are making me nervous. Eagles, I'm not nervous because I have, I now have not no expected. expectation. Flyers, I'm so excited about the Flyers, but I'm not going to lie. I know three names tops other than Jonesy and, and, uh, Briere. I know three names. I'm excited for them. But I can't tell you three, you know. Because they haven't, again, been an exciting team. And- oh, is, is, is Sean Couturier still there? I don't even know who, who Carter Hart's gone. Mm-hmm. You know, and again, it's 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 Halloween season as we started to keep talking about. They just played, I think the opening game was over in Europe. A different team, Flyers weren't playing. But Halloween, I always equate to, man, the Sixers are playing, the Flyers are playing. If the Phillies are lucky enough, they're playing. And the Eagles are playing. Halloween, to me, is that one holiday where you got everybody playing. Not on the 4th, not Memorial Day, not Labor Day, not New Year's. It's Halloween. You you in that that vicinity you have hopefully all teams. October is the Philly Sports Month. It's the sports month. If you like your Philly sports, you it's it's the month to be able to see them all and there's a game every day essentially and every day. And again, like today you got a uh, Dodger uh I see Yankees are playing today. The big media doesn't want Phillies. The Phillies are probably I'll say the third. I hate to say that they might want the Mets before the Phillies, but the announcers have been so pro Mets. It's not funny. Uh, Here, here's who corporate America wants. You want the Yankees against the Dodgers. Otani against judge two best players, two beasts. That's who they want. That's how they'll make money. Maybe they want the Mets next because it's a you know, big market. And then the Phillies because we'll, we'll draw as well. San Diego, Major League Baseball is probably shit themselves that San Diego's currently, as we speak, up two to nothing over the Dodgers. But good for them. You know. Didn't see that one coming. Uh, whatever. San, San Diego actually has been really good. Since the All-Star game, San Diego has been the best team. I think they probably have the best record since then as well. But they've been the best team, bar none, uh, just quietly. Because it's San Diego. Mm-hmm. They've never won a World Series. Um, and you think of with the with the Dodgers and Otani, you know, just he's 50-50, over 50 homers, 50 steals. What a what a what a great player. And he's not even pitching. And they say, oh, we might let him pitch in the playoffs. They haven't yet, they haven't announced it. But when he pitches, he's one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. Although I also feel the gambling. Do you know anything about that gambling thing that he was associated with? If some guy takes millions out of your account, you know something, something. You know something's going on. (laughs) You know something, something's up. And I just feel that they invested so much into him that they didn't want the face of baseball, at least on, on the West Coast, to be tarnished. Because they gave him, I think, seven hundred and fifty million. It's at least seven hundred yeah. million. It might be seven fifty. And that's a lot of money. But if some of those millions goes missing, you know it's. Yeah, and, and if the guy admitted, yeah, I was gambling, blah 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 blah. How do you not know? Because we and again, Pete Rose just died. Rest in peace, Charlie Hustle, one of my favorite athletes of my lifetime. But when you walk in a major league clubhouse, above the doors. For at least 60 or 70 years, it says no betting, uh, no gambling allowed. I, I forget what it exactly says, but it's been above the doors as you walk into the clubhouse since after Babe Ruth, because Babe was probably always gambling. But, you know, 50s, 60s, um, yeah, eh, difference. But, but, you know, Pete Rose, we'll miss that guy. I, he had a teammate, Johnny Bench, my favorite player. Yep. I, I got in so much trouble. Uh, your grandmother, I had a white t-shirt for Halloween. I wrote number five on it really big. 
And that's when I got caught. And I'm like, oh, it's a, uh, because I think Roman Gabriel was that number. There was, there was somebody on the Eagles. And I go, oh, come on, but this is my Halloween costume. You ruined a shirt. Like, you know, I'm going to be grounded for a year and a half, probably till I'm 13, for dressing up as Halloween. And because I had a Cincinnati Reds hat. So that was one of my costumes. And that was, I didn't have a beard because I was only probably 11 or 12. And uh, speaking of Pete Rose, that just made me think about that now. I'm just, my mind wandering. Halloween, again, Eagles are sucking. We need them to come back. We're in the middle of the Phillies. I'm excited. Here we are, you and I. We have some surprises that we intend to do coming down the road with this one. Yep. Uh, we were supposed to do a different show today, and we didn't. Yeah, so that's okay, though. But I wanted to talk about Halloween, and I don't care if, uh, you know, you're not into it or not. I'm going to make you be into it. <laughs> I I do my part for work. I no. dress up for my shift, but I know I just I love Halloween. Restaurant decorating. again. It's sports. Like every every team could be playing this year, yeah. right on that week. Every team could be playing. So cool. Thanks for everybody for tuning in, Dylan. Thank you as always for putting up with us. Uh, Terry, come see us again. Uh, Young Chunk, we love you. Everyone, come find us when you see this podcast. We are on YouTube under Young Chunk. Um, and that's another way that you can see us. Thanks for everyone for watching these things. We literally thought if we break double digits on any of them, we're going to celebrate. <laughs> so that was kind of funny and pretty cool. And we now have people asking us, oh, could you talk about this and that? And that's going to be one of our episodes coming up. So cool. Setting the record straight, Stephen. Boss Lady Caitlin, Dr. Caitlin, that is, excuse me, and Wheatley Vodka. Cheers. We thank you so much for all of your support, and uh, we'll see you soon. Peace. Young John!